Coyote Ugly. What a peculiar title. Hello, welcome back to Reviews. Today I'm talking about Coyote Ugly from 2000. This is a sort of musical romantic comedy drama by the sort of legendary producer Jerry Bruckheimer. Um, it ha- it's also written by un- uncreated Kevin Smith as well. I mean, there's a few other writers as well, but Kevin Smith was one of the sort of writers as well who sort of worked on the project, but basically didn't get the credit for it. If that is, if, if that was, was his sort of I, his idea or you know, or student interference, I don't know. So, <clears throat> sorry, it's too loud. So, the story goes, this young woman from New Jersey, if I'm right, if it's New Jersey or not, I don't know. I think it is, actually, yes, in the name, yeah, named Violet, who basically dreams of going to New York to become a songwriter, of course, and obviously for her father's wishes, of course, played by John, the legendary John Goodman, um, you know, thinks it's a bit sort of a bad idea, very much. You know, move to New York against you know New York's very, very seedy, so sort of dangerous. You know, very you know, totally, well, you know, New York is very much. And she decides to go anyway. And get an apartment. She's desperate and she's broke, and she gets a job at a place called Coyote Ugly, which is a leading dance bar thing, really, sort of, just dance spot, really, and she basically, as the movie progresses, she tends to get her own skills of becoming like a good mixologist, a good mixer, an interesting, you know, sort of dancer, like, dance in the bar, serving drinks, please, the male audience, and everything like that, you know, it's just, it makes it, it makes it like, it has a liveliness, you know, like in New York, and some like CD bars like that, like, sort of this thing like CBGB's and, well, CBGB's is actually real, but... Coyote Ugly is sort of like, in a sort of, in a sort of same vein, well, similar vein to it, very much, and it has its own life of its own, it's very, you know, it's sort of, it's where the centre, where it's basically like the centre of everything that happens very much, if I'm correct that right. Um, as I said, of course, Jerry Bokana produced this, of course, released with uh, touchdown, uh, touchdown Pictures, Karen Smith was uncredited for, write, for writing this. Um, that's all I can really know, really. That's my sort of vague information. Now, my, my sort of understanding of Coyote Ugly came through because my mum got the DVD, I think, years ago. Still have it so much, and she claims it is a really, you know, she always claims it's a really good movie. Um, she claims other stuff is really good movies as well. I mean, there's some really good stuff she she high, highly rates. A lot of stuff she doesn't. Well, she, she finds it just average and think that's okay. But she finds, coyote, she finds Coyote Ugly just interesting. I don't know really why, but it's just something that really just caught, caught the eye. I remember watching it maybe on TV before once, and I was quite interested in it. You know, I thought, that's it, not that, uh, not that movie. Um, it's it's basically just with, uh, just like a woman, a rags to riches type story, it's in New York, and involves big soldiers, dancers, and just women bartenders very much. That's all by means bartenders, whatever. It just really just depends on like on the story. I think obviously it's you know it's sort of, it's got a bit of a Cohen age type thing as well. I won't say it's by let's just say it's not like showgirls. Nothing, nothing like showgirls at all. <coughs> That's a bit joking. I love something in my throat. <coughs> but. It's timeless. I mean, people always always find this interesting. Like, it's an interesting movie. It sort of works in a way, and people think, that's a good movie. I think because people think, oh, Jerry Bruckheimer, you know, and this whole thing. But I think because it covers, it's from, you know, say, New York, you know, young you know young women come from different part, different states, different parts of the, you know, part of the world very much, end up in this sort of, like, well-known, sit, dangerous city, and find their own success there. It sort of works that way. Very much. Um, I think that's all I could say. I can't, that's all, I have nothing, I don't have very much to say for Counter Ugly, really. Although it's just, it's just a film that's gained some, you know, sort of popularity very much. I think it still does. I mean, it's, it's 18 years old, this, this movie. As a, you know, I don't know what they'll do for the 20th anniversary in two years' time. 
or maybe well, you know what I mean like you know people watch this later maybe many years later you think yeah okay but I'm just I'm just really I don't, I don't know really I've just really got nothing to say else really there's, there's nothing left anyway so sorry for this little brief video this is um, sorry for the brief video I've been talking about Kyoto Leaf from 2000 um, it's just an alright film really you know People love it. You know, it's something different, something interesting. You know, just a rags to riches story. I keep, meant, I keep repeating rags to riches, which is all what it is, you know. But it's, it's enjoyable, it's worth a watch. Thank you for watching. See you for the next video.